Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to do a collectible and a trigger box that can change levels. So, we have our character running around and the jump should work. I have all the assets uh, within the engine here. So I'm going to set a trigger box at the end of the level. Uh, you can find these into place actors, box trigger. You just drag it right into the level. Scale it you want to have the character interact with it directly okay so in order to get this to trigger we're going to use the open level function so if I go into blueprints and I say open level blueprint I can do this right here which is begin overlap which is event actor um, begin over I guess it's probably because it's already did on actor begin overlap trigger box you can search for it in here on actor begin overlap I pull out and I just do the function open level name and I type in the level that I want to go to in this case I'm going to level 1 I have to make sure that level 1 exists so you probably need to populate it before then so if you remember in class I saved as to be able to create a new version so level 1 uh, this is actually prototype level and then I'm going to level 1 and then after I do level 1 I come back to prototype level and based off of that, I can go through, and now I'm in level two. And I put my trigger box over here, goes back to prototype. Okay, so this is a very handy way for you to be able to change uh, levels using a trigger box. Okay, so now let's talk quickly about creating a collectible. So I'm going to use an actor class. I go in class actor. I'm going to say collectible, collectible, I'm open this up. I'm just going to do a very, very simple one. I'm going to create a cube and I am going to move it a little bit like this because it just gives it some substance when it rotates. I'm going to do a high level and I'm going to say rotate movement. Now I should have a rotating movement and I'm going to add a box collider. Now I'm going to want to make sure that that box collider is larger than the element itself. Right? So that might mean that this is really big. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to compile. Now, creating material, I can create a new material. You say maybe glow mat. Oh, I've already got one right there. So, okay. But what I did was I created a color and plugged it into the base color. And then I created a constant by pressing 1 to create a constant and then dragging into the emissive color and then setting it to a higher variable like 15 or 20 to create this glow color. All right. So I have this glow. I'm going to go back into my collectible. I'm going to click on my cube and then my basic shader material I'm going to say glow and now I have a glowing I can compile let's take my collectible and put it in here and when I press play I now have a moving collectible looks kind of funky okay now I'm going to want to make it so when he interacts with it right now he's standing on it and spinning around. Yay! That's pretty funny. So I want to destroy that. So if I go to event graph and I say take the the box collider, right? This is the box that you're going to interact with. Take the box collider, I bring it in there. It gives me a bunch of events. So I can say on begin overlap, on component begin overlap box. It's the same uh, kind of event handler as we used for the uh, changing level, right? I'm going to cast to our um, Lego guy. So I'm going to say Lego guy to find the Lego guy character BP, whatever you've named your character BP. I'm going to um, take this actor and put it into the object. And then I'm going to say destroy actor. Easy peasy. Right. Later on, we'll come back and we'll add variables to this so you add to the score. 
So I will go back to my prototype level. There it is. And let's let's set these on. And I'll do this and do this. Good enough. Let's press play. And now I can move. Collects that guy. Collects that guy. All right. So you should have the functionality to be able to collect things and change levels. So I'll put some collectibles in here and that's good. So when I come back I'm going to show you how to add some death.